Hi guys, we're doing something a bit different today. Clearly, we are in the bathroom and I have wanted to try derma planning for years and years. And the other day I was at Marshall's and saw this random LED electric derma planning set by a company called Danielle Creations. And it was $7 for this little set. And I thought, you know what? I'm finally going to brave this and see how it goes. I am sorry for the lighting. As I just discovered while getting ready for this video, my ring light is broken. I mean, it works, but it only works at the brightest coloring it used to adjust, now it doesn't. So I am right now not in the position I think to purchase a new ring light, so we're just gonna roll with what we have. I mean, I could use natural light, but this bathroom has a teeny tiny window and I was worried you guys wouldn't see all that much. And I'm sorry for the angle, but this is the best I can do because behind me is a door and in front of me is the tub. So here's the sink, here's the mirror. I'm hoping you guys will be able to see at least on one side what I'm doing. Before we begin, I wanted to introduce myself for those of you that are new here. Hi, my name is Natalia. I'm a concert pianist who loves all things beauty. I haven't been very consistent the past half a year just due to work and personal things and a move and all sorts of things that are going on in my life, but I'm trying to to pop on to YouTube as often as I can and I do hope to be back more regularly very soon. If you are interested in sticking around and spending some time with me, I would absolutely love that. And without further ado, if you're interested in seeing me shave my face for the very first time in my life, then please keep on watching. So as I mentioned, this is by Daniel Creations. This is the LED electric derma planning set. It has seven pieces, so the actual device, and then they have six cartridges, six replacement heads. The claims on this are is that it removes dead skin, impurities, and hair from upper lip, chin, and cheeks with microscopic precision. It has the built-in LED light to help illuminate even the finest of hairs. It's discreet and perfect for travel and on the go. Six replacement heads included and it is battery operated. So I have my batteries next to me. As far as how to use it, it says before using the device for the first time, pull upwards from the base to expose battery compartment. So I'll have to figure that out. Insert one AAA battery, power on the device, carefully slide off the protective cover, and then on clean skin, which I have because I just showered, gently glide the device over the desired areas until hair is removed. Do not press blade into skin or pass over the same area more than once use every one to two weeks. Okay, well, I'm glad I read that because I'm sure my perfectionism would have been over there shaving my skin off. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how to get this thing open, put the battery in, and then we'll see what happens. It's easier said than done to get this thing open. My goodness, this stuff is like bulletproof. Wow, they're not kidding around with this packaging. Okay, so first impression, I have not put the battery in yet. It does feel cheapy uh the plastic very thin very light but you know for seven dollars from uh marshall's not so sure i could have expected anything else so i assume i just slide yeah you just slide this little thing out it goes like this i believe there we go Ooh, and the light is on aha okay so this turns the light on and off kind of scared. All right, so I'm gonna do, I guess, this side of the face first because it's the side I'm hoping you guys will be able to see and then I'll finish the rest on my own time. So let's turn on the little LED light. Let's see, does it actually show the hair? I don't know, I guess a little. Am I supposed to like pull on my skin? I don't know. Not to go over the same parts, but at the same time, I'm supposed to go against the grain or with the grain. Does it say anything about that? It shows a little picture here, so I guess I can go in both directions. All right, okay, I can go in both directions. So let's try that. This does have a razor, right? It's just a crappy razor. 
don't feel like anything's happening. Let me just see one of these other little things. There we go. Okay, let's try this one. To be honest, I don't feel like anything's happening. I think I've been duped. I have to say, I like the LED feature a lot. And then again, I have a ring light pointing to the side of my face. But no, the LED feature actually is pretty cool because it does light up the situation. However, I think these razors, frankly, stink. I see like three hairs. So I honestly think this product, I think this product is kind of trash. If you ask me. Yeah. Yeah, you guys can even see, like, there's nothing on this razor. There's like two hairs on there. I mean, if it was a sharp enough razor, I feel like it should have just glided all the hair immediately off my face. So, that was a bit of a disappointment, to be honest. But, I will have to say, just from how this feels, and granted it's a dull blade, I'm less scared now. So, I guess what I will do is um, research and buy myself something that actually works, even if it doesn't have the LED feature. And in the meanwhile, while this video was a total bust, because here I thought I was going to have a baby smooth face, and then later today I was going to film and see how beautiful my foundation applies for the first time. Well, all of those dreams were crushed. But I can at least let you guys know to stay away from this product at Marshalls. And with that, I guess we're done here today. I hope this was at least a little bit educational. If you have any recommendations for something like this that actually works for me, please leave it down in the comments because I really do think now I'm going to look into this. I am even more curious now. <laughs> now that I've had a fail, I would like to have a success. So yeah, um, it's really great to see you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by for this quick and disappointing video. If you haven't subscribed and would like to do so, the button is right down below. I hope that you guys are all doing really, really well. I hope that you're continuing to stay safe and healthy. Take care of yourself and those around you and I can't wait to See you in my next video. Bye guys.